continue where we left off in the last tutorial. We had uh, put this picture on top, this Jeep picture on top of a picture of a monitor. This was our original picture. And now that we've got it sized down, we've got this extra over here. One of the ways we can get rid of that is we can come up here to Image, Canvas Size. The canvas is what we're working on. And this allows us to shrink this down. Now, if we were to keep it here in the middle, it would actually start here in the middle, so it would pull this side in as well as this side. We just want the right side to be pulled in. So we click here, and we can adjust our width. We'll adjust it down to, let's try four and a half. And that's a little bit too much. Go step backwards. Canvas size. Let's try it at six. It's not quite enough, but we'll leave it like that for the time being. Now we're gonna jump down here to our next the next tool we're gonna talk about is the stamp tool. And I've opened up this image over here of this guy with a the tattoo, the HTML tattoo, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually remove that tattoo from the back of his neck. So we're going to grab the stamp tool. First of all, we're going to zoom in so we can see what we're doing here. We'll grab the stamp tool. And the stamp tool, you have to use your Alt key, and you're going to select the color that you want here. So if you notice, the shading here it gets light here. And so the light's coming from his right side. So we'll start here. We'll hold our Alt. Notice we get this little bullseye. Click where we want to start. So we want to start right about here. Let go of your Alt key. When you pull up, there goes the tattoo. It's disappearing. So when we click, it's going to apply that color there. So notice it grabbed part of his shirt there. So we want to redo that. So we'll just step backwards to make things easier. Hit our Alt key again, jump up a little bit, here we go, and I'm just clicking my mouse button. You can hold it down as well, but sometimes it works better if you just click. Now I'm getting a little out of this shading area, so I'm going to go back and readjust my target. Now, when I zoom out, it'll mostly be gone, but I want to do a little bit more editing here. So I'm going to come down to my smudge tool, and my smudge tool is just going to blend these colors together a little bit. So I'm just clicking and dragging, and as I drag, it's like taking your finger on a charcoal drawing and just smoothing it out. Now, that was a little bit too much, so I'm going to come up here to my eraser tool, and I'm going to erase some of this. I notice when I erase it, it goes back to our white and gray squares. That's transparent, so in order for me to draw this background back in there, I'm going to select my color. I'm going to take this. If I just pull out of this, I don't have to click anything. I get our little eyedropper. And I can select that color and click OK. And then I can draw that color back in. Now, notice that it's, it's actually painting on him, on top of him. So in order to get around that, what we're going to do is we're going to create another layer. We're going to draw on that layer, but we want that layer to be behind him. So now we can just paint, and it's not going to paint on him. There we go. Now if I want to take these two layers and 
make them go together. I come up here to layer and I can merge visible layers which means it's going to merge everything that's visible. Now they're all one layer. Go back down to original. Here we're at 200 now. There we go, there's 100 and its tattoo is completely gone. 